feel it. But he's waiting for the rest of the team to group on up. I'm looking for that Reign of Flash and the dash afterwards, but maybe they don't even need it. Vac, the first man to fall as the site is under pressure. Sender wants to make the play, but he gets shot straight up from above. Asina takes him down. The site weakens even further. A Viper play needed as Jasmine takes Bone Cold. More needed to be found, but they're just delaying. They're making sure there's room for the flank that just immediately gets deleted as I bring it up. It's almost like Death Note. Brahms is gone, and a 4v2 emerges. Vitality not looking too good in the pistol. Yeah, I think that was the whole plan for Vitality. Wait for the spike to go down. Brahms can flank in behind, but because it took so long for Vitality to... Uh, actually swoop in and get any kills ascend etc bit just waiting for somebody to peek along this angle but it's, it's time it's a little bit poor misses one player through but catches on to killers bone call trying to take the fight close range with that specter as you said but vitality have done a really good job of predicting this move from ascend it's just called a mentor like they want to fight jesmond they really want to take that duel first killers catching the flank out gets him back to 150 plants coming in as we speak Oh, Killa's even going for more, sticking around. Brams thought he was deeper, and now Loki's the one that's going to try to deal with him. But he could also be in a bit of trouble. Killa's again showing up on the ring. It's weird watching him kind of sit back a little bit, wait for something to happen, and then go, oh, nothing's happened. We a lot of seeing if they can just catch a send off guard. It works for one or to Starzo, but the trade is near on instant from Killa's. It's come in off the top of the, the walkway. Man, they got to deal with this guy. Killers is feeling confident. He's finding space again and again. Now looking to catch them off guard as they come in for the retake, biding his time at recon. I don't think he's even going to come near spotting him. And if they leave this angle unchecked, oh, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Dropping down, checking, but he gets the first. There's the dismiss, and he's out of there. His teammates covering him on the way. Another 3K for Killers, and it's going to extend even further. They got a player up on 150 health after that heal up, but Killers again the. Thorn in the side for this team. He keeps on going. They're just unaware of where he is. Luckily, Brahms able to take him out. Finally, that player removed. The plan should be able to come in. Brahms not quite able to deny that from where he is unless he updrafts, but it would be risky. Instead, he's looking for a fight from afar. Knives now wasted, but Vax in for a second in the round. This is looking much better for Vitality than what we've seen before, and the ultimate's now going to be used. It starts off with Viper's Pit being deployed. Now, on the site starzo is isolated and seen it has to go straight into that smoke doesn't have his dash to play with he's spamming away already halfway done on the diffuse right click is there but back gets a fourth and plans here as well this is such a solid technical defense but there's players already creeping up on them as kill has spots out the information looks to engage the fight gets it done avoids the hunter's fury and loki worried about being pushed has to cancel it after just one pulse this is a tough round for vitality to swallow if they lose it it started out so well, and now they're in dire straits. Yeah, the ultimate usage not really accounted for much is a real big shame for Vitality. Kiles is going for more. I don't know how many first uh, kills he's had in this game so far, but it's pretty much been all of them. Jesmond from a position might be able to get the jump onto Starzo, and even the Resurrect brought in to bring the numbers surprisingly back in favor for Vitality. Kill has to do it all. This man has to be the one-man army. The first is his. Such an instrumental factor for them in almost every round secured. And now, well, they're going to actually commit the res to taking him back up. Loki in trouble being pursued. Oh, no! He even takes out CNED. Never mind. I thought that was his fate sealed. Vac with one onto Bone Cold. And suddenly, the man advantage goes to Vitality. That's a very good pullback into the round. Did they see the spike drop as well on A? Might be one of the reasons why we're seeing a bit of an adjustment. We're seeing Jesmond move all the way from B to help out the teammates, or at least keep an eye on mid. Lurking player Starzo is maybe opening the way over to B, so it's very much an area that Vitality might let go, but Jesmond picking up the operator drop from Brams spots that rotation. It's a great canary in the coal mine, but Vitality aren't sold on this yet. They don't know if it's going to be a B hit. Now they're going to get the indication, but they have two players' man advantage so far. It's how they use it. Jesmond actually going to make it even cleaner. Oh, the upshot missed! Hold on! Cold Amenta got it! It looks like it. Yeah, they're, they're gonna just go for this straight split in through mid, going under tube, and moving towards the B site. You know, when you look at Vitality in this spot, Sender is pretty much the sole defender. He's been walled off and he's actually broken it. They know he's close, they're ready for the fight. Easily taken down. Man advantage extended, actually, with Cold Amenta catching off back. And a four versus two that. 
Well, it favors Ascend yet again. We've seen Vitality pull back into it in the early round, but in the late, they've been... Remember, Viper's Pit not as dangerous as it will be on the next update. He's already looking for a victim, and he's seen the barrel ready for the right click. The defuse underway. Killers needs to move. He catches one, but not the second, Brams! See what's going on. Rams could easily be caught out here, but he does win that first duel. Ascend unable to trade because of a well-timed cloud burst. But Ascend over on A trying to up the ante a little bit, but Vac waiting there. Knows that there's two players, last two, and Vitality are there to try and take that fight. Yeah, Starzo's got a big clutch to make happen. I like the jump, but Brams around here. Ascend, speaking of weaponry, you're going to have the ghosts in hand. And Killa is the first to find one. He makes it safely to yellow as Brams even takes a fade away. Dink and another from Killa's. In favor of Ascend, who are more than prepared to jump on them as soon as they tried to plant one that spike. Uh, Bone Cold spike on to Jasmine confirms beat. it as Loki is the last man alive. And well, Killa's from now, if they leave him unchecked as they come on through, ziplining across, dashing. One, two, C. Ned ripping them to shreds. He's even gone in for more. A player up close to him. He's heard the step. He's ready. And it's the ace for C. Ned. What is that? Eight rounds on the board. As in for this retake, Olostazo might be trying to decide. There's no wall to block off the spike for a safe defuse. So he's going for the most unsafe option, trying to push. Brams watching that angle in a more passive position. Goes a little bit more aggressively for the 2K. A burst early as the wall eventually comes down and they'll cross over, but CNED now has that op in play. It's his signature weapon, the one that he's known for and already is eliminated. They can try and flank in. And Kiela is trying to find an opening. Has the Empress if he wants it, but is opting against it from the looks. Vitality trying to sit back, use that utility in the post plan, but it's not quite working out. It was just send a and the send player that's maybe overstepping the mark, but both these two teams after 40 seconds pretty much haven't moved all that much. Oh, CNED. He couldn't get the kill as Pops' his ultimate. They have no idea where he is. The first gives it away. He's going to just fade out with the dismiss and play the retake, but Loki, he backstabbed. Ready to go into the post plan. Time is certainly not going to be on the Send side, and Send is even going to make it a bit worse. Again, playing super close in the face of a Send eventually goes down. Now it's the turn of Vac, and Jesmin actually gets taken out too. We were talking about Loki before. Now it's all up to him. The Hunter's Fury, it's whether he sticks it. He doesn't. He just goes for the one pulse, expecting to be pushed. It's not the case, and Kiles is going to stick the defuse. Loki to fake this out so they'll continue to pressure. They need to take this map control away from the defenders. But as Cold Amenta fires from afar, they don't expect Killez to be here. And so he's able to get one. But on the way back, he is. Stazo knows that something's up. The dash is going to be a helpful reminder. But Bram still wins that fight. Down to pretty low hell. 45 HP, but the dash works out super well. CNED gets the up, gets the kill. Dash is out. Might be worth a save. But Vitality. Just burdening Ascend now as we're looking to go even on score yet again. I love that flying from Sander. Oh, he's making a lot of noise. Cnet knows he's here. Cnet's ready for the fight, but so is Sander. Over long, but that's when Bone Cold just drops his ultimate. They think he's gone, but he's still lurking around at yellow, looking for the player coming out long. What a shot! A wall bang headshot to Sander. This is getting pretty tough. Vitality, man disadvantage, snakebite coming in. Oh, you're taking so much damage if a bullet hits you. Bram's down to 43. That stage, one, one wall bang away from death. Loki tries to make the flank, tries to make it work, but it's instead a double flank play. It's Killez that I'm worried about. He's on his way through Tube. Cold Dementia baiting them out into open combat, but that's buying time for that flank to come through. Only Loki Low left to be found. He will catch one from the side for sure. Hunter's Fury comes in, but it's way too late. That defuse uh. is well and truly underway. 11 to 11, and can he save the weapon? He knows he's rushing it down. Those comms got to be communicated over, but oh, oh no! A whiff by Bram's Bone Cold punishes him. I was certain he was gone. Even gets a second afterwards and now has support. Vitality, they're crumbling. They're falling apart. Back in a 1v4. 40 seconds, Spike not planted. Everything going against him on this one, and especially Starzo with the... Actually now dedicating some of these ultimates, but Brams finds that first kill. He does indeed. Kill as now down. A big player removed again in the early round. Cold Dementa falls, and Cena has to be worried about the flank from the right. That plant comes through. They are in so much trouble with Brams on the flank as well. I don't think they have a read on this. This should be the free round, surely. 
The wall blocks him out for now as he steps on closer. And there it is. The res not able to be popped. The knives. Oh, no, it was. And still, they get both kills. Bone Cold, one versus five. And I think this might be the end of it. We might be going to overtime. This is a, a shame for Ascend. They looked so good, but that A defense finally overrun. Bone Cold not able to get it done. It is OT here. Vitality needs to hit this first shot if this is direction that Stadzo is going to take the spike. Oh, Ascend, they favored the A site so much, and I think that's why Vitality wanted to push B and mid in at the start of this round. It's a gamble, though, when you're in overtime. Luckily, they don't lose too much for it. Bram still with the dash available, happy to take more aggressive peaks. He's not in danger of being spotted. That flash, though, does catch him. Bone cold left. down as they push forward here. Kill as if he falls, this round goes awry, but the shot, it misses just over his shoulder. Bram's now in a bit more trouble. Oh, what's that, Starzo? They knew the op was there. They didn't respect it, and now they pay the price. Only Cold Amenta left. 1v4, and as the spike goes down, he's swung on. Predict that coming through. Goes down before the wall's put up, before the spike's planted. Vitality can clean up house here. They have been really impressive. Maybe a little bit rough around the edges with their approach, but the individual performance of these players has been exceptional. You could say that Jesmyn, yeah, lagging behind with the frags a little bit. Absolutely, and whether they get to face them or not really comes down to this series. Single Elim here, BO3. Vitality start out with the opening, and it is Killez again to fall in the early fights. They've done a phenomenal job of dealing with him. CNED coming up with the operator in hand spot the planter he's being revealed he sees so many players but waits his time to take the shot the wall bang good and hold on ascend have still got some fight left in them but they're in dire straits cold amenta again to clutch it a 1v2 this time but the side swipe it just catch anybody pushing one out might even go for the trade uh, he doesn't have the dash if he had the dash you'd probably run with that wolf and try to catch somebody off guard with a quick headshot but when you don't it's not worth it we talked about control and the control of the map is there but they're ready for it bone cold checking it jesmyn now on seven HP, a good read of how their opponents like to play this map, knowing they would likely still have that lurk out there. But now, time is low as they want to push into the site. They've got to force these fights quickly. A good counter flash leaves damage to go over towards Vitality and CNET on the site by himself. Good delay with those flashes, and everything goes to Vitality. That is a... I think Europe has a bit of a bad reputation. I'm not checking some angles. Let's see how Brams does right in the face. Well, there you go. Shorty headshot as well, just to make it clear. And now, a bit of space. The heels come through with a regrowth from Sky. And Loki's going to push for a bit more as they start to line up yet again. Oh, man. That is some serious damage done. Jasmine farming up the kills. But if they lose another weapon, even at that point, with two surviving, trying to be a Vandal guy, but it's hard. And Ascend actually explosively get the two kills early on. Bone Cold does get traded out from Brams, but Ascend having the advantage and... Ex Seekers is still available on the defense. Just used on the attack. The Trailblazer is going to see if it can spot out any players. And CNET tries to follow through. And there's just three Vitality players ready and waiting. Now the Seekers is going to be used to Hunter's Fury. Thrown in through double doors. Kila is just trying to find an angle. But this is Vitality facing aggressively. Not afraid of these engagements. Loki, through the smoke of the spray, has been stuck in these awkward defusal positions. But at least this time, has the help of Jesmond. All up for Stato to try and just stick the defuse and onto the site. Cybercage is going to add a little bit of subtlety, but he just barrels through onto Kiles. Coldementer is still there facing the shock that in the face is going to block his vision more than anything. And back there can get the follow up. The spike is going to go down and a one player advantage there for Vitality on the retake. Yeah, Vitality in the better spot. They just have to push in and trade. Starzo clearing out in towards Garage, and they know now that they can be relatively comfortable on their way through there, but hold on. Vitality, two quick kills, pull it way into the lead. The flash, perfect. But now, now, it's too many players to get spotted. They know that he's here close on long. They're going to see him with the wolf. He's going in for one, and that's the best he could really get done. Weaponry isn't quite there as Ascend make their way onto A. Now suddenly, Keyless is in behind. The Neural Theft is good to go to at least B now. There's a little bit of damage done to Vitality. The whole Holding on for dear life, but seen it out with a server for now. No, he's gone, dealt with and does not ascend, man advantage still, but it quickly fades away. There's Cold Dementa pulling it back, but for how much longer, Loki? Oh, it 
find an opening now for Vitality to keep that ground, the centre push in to stop the spike maybe being planted. CNED eventually does get that kill onto the Operator, kills onto Jesmond, who is in double doors but adds on to more. He smoked off currently, forced to reload, and Vitality now need to make something happen, but this is where Ascend start to shine. They're absolutely chipping away at the attackers. It's just CNED with the Operator, but he stops, doesn't he? And he sort of backs off a little bit. Now with the Attack Operator, he's going to be much more aggressive. He isn't going to let those opportunities flying by. He's not going to be restrained. He's going to up the ante. He's going to put some pressure onto Starzo that is forced to use utility to get some information. But all he catches is Brams. Now he's on the site as the execute comes in. He's good for one kill onto Loki as the spike was about to go down. But now, look at all of this. Ascend just want to make sure that they're guaranteed death. Maybe if you... I mean, what was the point of that? That's all I'll ask. What? was the point. A slow orb, they're still going to get out of there alive, and you've lost a weapon. Bone Cold now left to save by himself, and he's in a bit of trouble, because they don't last map. It's CNED here, who's turning up, and well, being dealt with right away. Kill as the man I mentioned on the Cypher, obviously not going to be quite as capable of taking those early fights as he is when he's playing the, the Reyna. But he's taken down. Okay. This is not a bad start. I mean, look, things started to go their way for sure. Starzo in a 1v1 as kills keep on going the way of Vitality, but oh my god. Playing to their strengths. Even just staying here and holding that line is such a good play from Vitality. And Descend just don't know how to really go about this sometimes. Yeah, they're definitely struggling right now. CNET able to take the kill and back out at least. There's a so confident in this. And he will take a very, very slow flank. Ascend have to be quick to get to sight, or they're going to be in a lot of trouble in just a couple of seconds. And, well, quick is the name of the game. What is that kill as? A double kill for him. Looking in towards Garage for more. Vac finally gets that backstab into play, and CNET is left up. And took them on advantage spots for the pistol. There's the push straight up through long. Loki able to deal with one, and the second player with Jesmond as they try to deal with Loki, knowing he's slightly low. Jesmond's there to save the day. Vitality Oh, they're just tearing them to shreds out through long. The flank is good. The flank is done. Ten bit of a support structure there. But now new coaching regulations. You can't talk during the game. That That's yeah. why you see so many pauses being used. And for Ascend, you see the struggle when they don't have an established, experienced IGL there to help them adapt to these plays round on round. Cold Dementa showing the, the book he maybe isn't as powerful as we all thought. <laughs> Missing, I think he right clicked up close. But they've got the advantage. They've got the spike down. For Ascend, this is about as good as it's been so far. And in fact, up against Spectres, I'd say they have a pretty good advantage. What? CNED was holding the right side. His teammate was watching it. Bram oh, no. on the side swipe down to the frenzy, but they're diffusing it. No, it doesn't go all the way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's good. That's a tag. That's a strong tag, but he doesn't even move from the spot. They expect him to be falling back. Sender, speaking of falling back, that's exactly what the team do. They go and watch their behind as Brams picks up one. Vac falls, and the advantage stays forever in the hands of Ascent. Now, they just have to hold on. The time is on their side, and Vitality of next to no information. Certainly not on Cold Amenta down below. And at this point... I think the word save starts to float around the comms a little bit. They're definitely going to think about it. Maybe not with that kill from Browns, though. Time is just so low. You want to save this gun, but if you can just keep the pressure on to Ascend, it's going to work out nicely. Brams oh with the 4K. Even if CNED and Ascend get this sick round, they're going to feel the effect of that. And look at where Vitality... I'm not even a ghost upgraded to. He fully believes in the knifing ability. Vitality on the flank. That's Brams. As the team are just buying time for it. The Browns actually backs off in the end and they lose control. Get their timings right. They know that the Sage is over in the corner and the right clicks from Brams don't connect. It's just a classic. And Jesmond with the operator up from heaven oh. is able to do the damage. Now suddenly, this is a great one for Vitality. It seemed Ascent had it. Get the spike planted. Vitality wants the retake. The wolf did not get very far. <laughs> I don't know if that was a misclicking, cancelling it. Oh, that flash is so good, but they're not blind. They're in the smoke, and they don't even know to star. So, how has he gotten away with that? How has he just... Consistency is an issue with some of these teams as well. Across the world, we saw Vision Strikers lose today, so we might see some even bigger upsets, but Ascend steadying the ship a little bit. Jesmond might be in a bit too deep, and with the Paranoid connected so nicely from Bone Cold, they're going to increase the numbers in favour of Ascent. Sender at least tries to make it closer, but 
It's now a four versus two. The spike is not going over to C like it may look to Vitality. In fact, it's going over to B, where Loki is waiting for them and could line them up nicely. Back is so dead. Surely there's the first, but will he be pursued by Killers? Yes, he will. And there we go. Okay. Hurt's going to tickle up a couple. Well, points off of seeing Eddie's close to dropping, but no, he still takes Brahms to jump out of heaven, punished for Bone Cold. CNED kill is answering up. Hello. But winning it out, very tough. Ultimate, uh, I think you can see. He's about to run into trouble, and nobody's looking at him right now. The slow orb is going to force him to stay put, but nobody's there for the follow up. Now, CNED with the Blade Storm tries to come through, and Loki just takes the top of his head clean off. Cold Dementor makes this competitive, brings in the res, four versus three. Vitality just having to hold on. The spike is down on the ground, yet to be picked up. Vitality actually backing off and repositioning. Yeah, Ascend definitely want to make this push happen, but Jesmond has just taken a double through the smoke. Cold Dementa returns the favor and kill as with another perfect setup. As Jesmond goes forward, he will be peaked on by two, and the round should be over before it even begins. Looking to the left side, that's where the first point is, and Kill has even finished. Here as he gets to the back side, using his own dash to stay alive. Now wants to peek around the side. This is a messy round, but one Vitality are claiming. They're looking for overtime, and it looks like they have it. It's all up to Starzo, spotted on long. The whole team... Let's see if this is going to be another 17 to 15 game. It could go all day. It's been very one-sided halves for each team as we come into this overtime. The full buy season. All doesn't hear any more steps on a long. It's, oh my god, it might not matter. That whole storyline of a flank coming in. Well, <laughs> what is there to flank when Brahms is doing that? He's just shredding them. They really keep Vitality guessing. Desmond is out of double doors. Wins that duel onto Bone Cold. That's such a key pick. And now Keyless has it all to do. One down, three more to go. They know exactly where he is. He's down to 70 HP. And Vitality actually doing something we haven't seen a lot of, being patient, waiting for Ascend to be the aggressor on the defense. He waited for the, fl he waited for the spam, then turned from the flash. Like, mechanically, that guy is on point. But as a unit, Ascend are not living up to expectations. And Vitality now just one round away from closing it out. Brams again invests into that operator, and it's a mid over towards the C site, ready to catch them on the way out. Brams spamming as the cage blocks sight. But look who snuck in a position. They've looked as well, because they've taken Jesmond down. The flank that CNET is on could pay huge dividends as well. Brahms peaks close. Good kill. Trades back. CNET in the back. Has to go quickly. A 1v2. A player close. He gets the first. Mo going in for the 3k. That shock dart tags him. And Loki finishes it off. 14 rounds for Vitality. They have knocked 